What is 1 HP of damage in real life? Scratching an itch too hard. Getting zapped by a static shock. Sore ask hole after a dreadful poop. When you're laying down and you drop your phone on your face. Hitting your funny bone, hurts at first, but then you're like, nah I'm good didn't hurt anyway. I'd say a paper cut but that turns into damage over time, so initially 1 horsepower but then continues as 1 horsepower every 2 seconds until healed. When the wind blows my hair out of place. Clearly the finger prick blood test at the doctor. That tiny line of blood you get on your gums when you floss too hard. Having a crumpled up piece of paper thrown at you. Mosquito bite. When you wear your long hair in a ponytail, someone calls your attention from the back, you snap your head around and get whipped by your own hair. That instant is like not so much just minus 1 horsepower, but 10,000 by minus 0.0001 horsepower. You feel the different strands of hair lol. When you push, what you think is a fart, just a little too hard, and a bunch of larvae come out. Stubbing your toe. Question can't be answered. How much would be max HP? Edit. I mean, if 100 HP would be max. And a scratch or slap or something would be 1 HP would mean I will die after 100 scratches slaps, so that won't be correct. Reading a repost. Hangnail. Very, very rarely my eyelid gets caught up upon itself. I have to either stretch out my eyelid or keep blinking to fix it. It doesn't hurt but is annoying. When water is a tad too hot. Every time this comes up, people grossly underestimate what 1 HP looks like. Depending on what game you're playing, the average townsfolk NPC with no armor and basic stats will have between 1 and 100 HP. Let's say average 10 HP. That means we are looking at something that will kill you if it's done to you 10 times. 10 paper cuts will not kill you. I'm thinking more along the lines of a clean punch to the head from a skilled boxer, or a stab with a short blade. Definitely something that can seriously hurt you. Starting characters have between 3 and 15 horsepower, and most of us get a few levels on expert, which doest make any sense for health defensive purposes, so forget those. Things like stubbing toes or even a cut are non-lethal damage. A single hit point of damage would be like having acid flung at you, a crit would be hitting your face eyes or swallowing it. A tire iron blocked by your forearm. Even breaking bones could only be one horsepower. You figure we can take quite a physical beating and recover with a few days sleep only to suffer some pain and swelling, so the rules don't carry over very well, but it'd say most unarmed damage would realistically be non-lethal, but non-lethal damage is a big deal in real life. Falling off a roof, as a healthy person at healthy BMI, onto your back or similar. Hitting another cyclist at low speed and not landing on your head or similar awful outcome. A minor car wreck that maybe just causes impact to face and neck from airbag. Getting shot with a small caliber round through a non-vital area could even be a single point. We just don't heal our con in one day of rest. Depends on what game you're talking about, from Minecraft to SSBU the HP zones are different edit, corrections. For the over 30 crowd, stretching too hard. Scratching the inside of your nose by accident so it bleeds a tiny amount. Anything that draws a small amount of blood like a paper cut. Enough for you to notice and want to deal with applying a plaster, but it won't hinder you in any way. Needle injection. Asterisk asterisk inject yourself with the correct solution. Asterisk 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 permanent immunity stat boost. Asterisk. Asterisk asterisk inject with the incorrect solution. Asterisk 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 slight euphoric effect. Recurring minus 1 HP until you either die or seek help. Asterisk. This question. Skipping breakfast. Stubbing your toe on the one corner of your bed. When your earbuds cord catches on something and yanks them out of your ears. 
For the average first level human who has 1 to 12 hit points it's the equivalent of broken nose, lost toe, or other damage to the extremities which might not be immediately debilitating but which adds up quickly. Carpet burn but it also does fire damage. Cutting a nail slightly too short. Asking that we all for the most part have even stats with one above average and one below and that we are all normal people, haven't gone through any training, working out slightly, balanced diet, then good examples for one horsepower worth of damage may include a hard punch, a pretty good cut, dropping a brick on your foot. We need to remember that pain is not damage, harm is so anything that would take away 20% of you physical health or something that if it were to happen 5 times you would either die or fall unconscious that is 1 horsepower, now if we're talking about higher amounts of HP obviously the effects diminish to anything that would kill you or render you unconscious by happening 100 times. Seeing this reposted every week. Since almost all of humanity is level 1, I'd say that this would constitute about 1 6th to 1 15th of a person's daily allotment of stamina for living. So you know, look at you life and it should show you what will cost that kind of loss. This is all entirely based on D&D 5e HP. Pulling a hangnail too far. Seeing this question getting reposted once again did 1 horsepower damage to me. Sneezing really hard. A swift strike to the bollocks. Taking off that weird piece of skin bare your fingernails and getting blood. A snowball. Hitting your toe on the edge of a hard object. Seeing this post 10 times a month. When you hit your nutsack with a sledgehammer. Sending a risky text. Reading this every few weeks paper cut but it feels like 42,069,666 horsepower of damage. Seeing a person. Coming through bed hair. What's the hit dice? In old school, a normal person is 1 to 4 HP. She's getting dropped on you from 0.0000000000000001 inches. Stubbing your toe. Stubbing your toe. I see a lot of minor stuff in here, but in D&D 5e a commoner has 4 horsepower, and 99% of the people out there are going to count as commoners. So really it's being one quarter dead, which is pretty ducking serious. Watching Toradora's ending. I just don't feel that way about you. Can we still be friends? About 746, S watts. Hitting your elbow in that nerve spot. Seeing the same post from a week ago. Crawling under a table or desk to retrieve something, then banging your head against said table or desk because you stood up too soon. The stress induced from having to read this ducking question get asked once a week on here. Every time I see this question on this subreddit, my HP drops by 1. I'm almost dead at this point. A slap. A playful punch. Bumping into something hard enough to say ow. Bruises. Major tanning equals 1 HP permanently. Getting shat on you by a bird. Finger in the butt. Depending on the game it could be as tiny as losing one hair, a finger or an arm. Every time you take a single drag off a cigarette. Trying to open a door but ducking up the handle and crashing into it instead. Asking the average human as a LV0 commoner, probably a broken arm or something like that. Stepping outdoors from the darkness during the day. 1 HP would be like accidentally slapping your hand on a wall as you walk to your bedroom so drunk you make Husk look sober and critical hit is yeah I don't even have to write it you know. Coffee to hot and burns your tongue or brain freeze from a milkshake. Stubbing your toe. If we didn't have health region I would have died stubbing my toe years ago. Paper cut. When thoughts slap their ask for $1. Saying I love you to your parents and them replying, okay. Waking up five minutes before your alarm goes off. Smiling at somebody and them not smiling back. In grown beard hairs that hurt. 
when you wore a hat all day and take it off and push your hair a different direction than it's currently laying. Testing your blood sugar. Stubbing your toe. Choking on food. Being stung by a bee. Choking on water. Moving in for a kiss and getting rejected. A rock in your shoe. That might be more of a 1 DMG per tick dot though, with chance to cripple on crit. That little piece of skin next to your nail, you rip halfway up your arm. The first atom of your foot making contact with a Lego piece but you pull back with the strength of all your ancestors recoiling from a deadly predator. When my BF scratches me with a toenail while sleeping. Someone going before you at a four-way stop even though you definitely stopped before them. In DND 5e a healthy commoner has 4 HP. So, a knife in your arm. Something something joke about horsepower. Getting kicked by one horse once. Math. Getting ran over by a horse. Licking. Ingrown hair. When you drink a glass of water but as you finish your sip and put the glass back to normal that one ducking ask whole drop of water comes shooting up and causes you to wipe your face for the smallest inconvenience. A paper cut. I suppose it would depend on how big your HP bar is. A paper cut perhaps. Depends. Are you a kobold or an ogre? Ever had a horse? It's probably more than you think. A finger. Sneezing when you have a cold. Poking your tongue with the pointy part of a tortilla chip. Okay, so comparing to DND 5e, where commoners, like majority of people, have 4 HP. Then the damage is actually quite significant. When someone hits your balls like a golf ball. When you are trying the rest of an iced beverage and you tilt the glass too far up and the ice hits your face. Stubbing that one toe and breaking the freaking nail. Depending on character level and con, on average, I would say 1 HP would be a severe cut on your defending arm, hand that requires approximately 7 to 10 sutures.